What Zelensky's new screenplay does not contain is even a hint of a willingness to seek a genuine and long-term peaceful settlement of the conflict. He is still convinced, as in the case of his previous stillborn initiatives, that the West should work out with him some kind of ultimatum plan and then impose it on Russia. It is hard to say what explains such a calculation other than the regular use of potent narcotic drugs. Kiev obviously cannot count on a better formula than the Russian president's proposals announced in June, and this possibility was essentially crossed out with the beginning of the AFU attack on the Kursk region. Hence, the only Trump card left for the Kiev leader is to provoke a direct clash between Russia and NATO. In the notorious pseudo-peace plan, this plan is first of all embodied in the form of another demand for Ukraine's admission to NATO. So that no one has any illusions, I would like to confirm at once that Ukraine's membership of the North Atlantic Alliance in any territorial form is absolutely unacceptable to Russia and cannot be part of any peace plans and mediation initiatives. We have developed and are ready to continue to develop good neighborly relations with a neutral, non-aligned Ukraine, as this has been enshrined in its constitution and prescribed in our bilateral agreements.